Meteorologist Lexi Birmingham with your first alert storm team forecast. Well, it was another very warm, humid and breezy day today across the Gulf Coast, and that's pretty much what we are going to see for tomorrow. But we do have changes coming into the forecast. We're tracking our next chance for showers and thunderstorms for the later half of the work week, and we'll tell you how that storm system is going to impact our Mother's Day weekend. And I think you're going to like what you're going to see on that seven day forecast. Let's start off with a live look at USA Health Providence Hospital. This is our all in credit union camera. You can see the clouds kind of taking over the skies there. Temperatures right now at 83 degrees. Wind staying breezy out of the south at 13 miles per hour. Also seeing a mix of sun and clouds from downtown Pensacola. This is our Unity Fiber camera. Temperatures for them at 81 degrees with a south southeast wind at 14 miles per hour. So as we look ahead throughout the rest of our evening here, temperatures will stay on the warm side for the next couple of hours in the lower 80s. We'll drop back into the 70s by about 8 o'clock this evening, settling to about 74 by 10 o'clock. And even our winds will begin to die down back out of the south anywhere from 5 to 10 miles per hour. Skies will stay partly cloudy. So here's a look at our current winds right now, and they're still looking a little bit breezy out there. For the most part, they're anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour, maybe seeing some higher uh, higher speeds in some spots, and we'll pretty much see those breezy conditions for tomorrow as well. Sustained winds will be anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour, but those wind gusts will once again be anywhere from 20 to 25 miles per hour, especially as we head into the early and later half of the afternoon. Here's a look live look at our radar right now. Just seeing a, a little bit of a shower in Jackson County, maybe even a small blip there in Washington County, but overall most of us are sitting dry and for tomorrow we do look to stay dry, so there's no chance that you will need those green and Phillips umbrellas, but don't put them too far out of reach because we are tracking our next storm system. It comes as a cold front that's going to be moving closer as we head into your Thursday. Now we will see some scattered showers and storms for your Thursday afternoon, but I think the main bulk of thunderstorms is going to come late Thursday and into our Friday as that cold front moves through. After that, we'll have some cool and drier air behind that front move in just in time for your Mother's Day weekend. And we're talking temperatures could be 10 to 15 degrees cooler than what we have seen the last couple of days. Now, a couple of those thunderstorms could be on the strong to severe side. So the Storm Prediction Center has put our entire viewing area under a level two out of five risk where the threat for damaging winds and hail is are the main concerns. Luckily, the tornado threat is looking very low at this time. And as far as rainfall totals are concerned, anywhere from about a quarter of an inch for our coastal communities up to about three quarters of an inch for our northern communities could very well be possible. So looking at our forecast lows overnight tonight, it's going to be mild. Most of our temperatures falling back only into the 70s with maybe some middle to upper 70s near that immediate coastline. As for the rest of our seven day forecast, we'll hold on to those warmer temperatures and we went ahead and put weather aware for your late Thursday, early Friday. After that, it's looking good for your Mother's Day weekend. Highs returning to near seasonable around 80 degrees with lows tonight in the 50s and 60s. That's a